five and three. Uh, yeah, welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live, Wednesday night edition. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hope everybody's good. Um, right now we're going to hold it up just a couple minutes and uh, see uh, see if we get some people up in the chat. Um, in the meantime, Transformer, what's good with you, man? How you doing? Man, not much, brother. Living a good life as always. Another day, another <laughs> breath taken. That's it. Another dub by the Lakers, man. How you feeling? Not mad at that. Not mad at that. Dub by the Lakers, dub by the Celtics. Uh, the NBA can't ask for nothing better than that, right? I mean, you're, you're right. right. In that sense, you're right. <laughs> yeah, in that sense, you're the two most storied franchises That's in it. NBA history, they both That's right. got a dub and open a night. That's pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. Oh, only thing better is if we see them wind up in the finals. That would be, obviously, you know. Boy. That is what the NBA is built on. <laughs> you you want to talk about, I'm not going to be able to be on a podcast with you for like a week and a half? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to talk, bro. Don't talk to me. You're not lying. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you. I'm lying. Hey, if we have to make a truce. Before we start off, it's going to be, all right, guys, before we get started on the format podcast, me and Bryant right now are making a truce. Truce. Don't talk no Celtic, no Lakers. <laughs> Until the finals right. is over, don't talk nothing. When the finals is over, then we'll go back through the whole thing. But until then, <laughs> we we can talk about NFL, free agency, baseball, something. Now we, hey, we talk can talk about, about everything under the sun. Don't talk everything about everything under the sun. That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh, hey, man. My wife, uh, we was watching the Green Bay game, right? And of course, you know, it mm. was a freaking, it was, uh, it was, it was nerve wracking. And mm -hmm. I can see my wife, like she went from cheering and then mm -hmm. I started getting pissed off. I started throwing my shirt. Mm -hmm. Like I punched a box. <laughs> she, was just like, <laughs> she got on her phone. She was like, oh my God, somebody come and save me. This man is about to go crazy. I'm like, so imagine right. if it's Boston Celtics versus the Lakers in the finals. Oof. I'm like, T, I'm, I'm honestly just going to have to leave the house. Like I can't be <laughs> home. I'm, I'm not going to be able to be home. Like I don't care. I'm going to have to be home. Yeah. I'd rather put it on my phone and sit in the car. Crazy, right? Get me away, because I don't. You know what? No, we owe y'all one because the last time we played y'all in the finals was uh, God bless the dead. The Mamba, the Mamba you know, did his thing, and and, and y'all um, y'all handled business. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm still not feeling too good about that. I respect it, but I don't like it. Tyler, you what's know? good? How are you? Tyler, what's good, baby? <laughs> but yeah, man, I respect it. Definitely don't like it. Of course, you know, you know, Jeez. just like 08, You know what I'm saying? When uh, when we did what we had to do. You know, oh, it was like a pandemic type of year, right? It wasn't a you know pandemic I mean? type year, yeah, man. It was like a bubble. It was a recession. It was Everybody bubble. was broke. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and and Boston just got it the easy way, man. They just they truly got you the got easy to be way. Kidding me, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, whatever. Just like, hey, we don't count the bubble championship for the Lakers. We ain't counting the Boston uh recession championship. Okay, that wasn't no recession <laughs> shit, man. Listen, man, you are killing me. <laughs> Oh my all goodness! All love, all love, man. All, all love. Count Respect if, they, if they're logged, okay, they logged yes, them. They count. <laughs> I, I guess we got to look at it that way. But oh, um, I will. there you go. But uh, we got some good topics for y'all tonight. Uh, obviously, it's Wednesday, so we're gonna do our pick 'em. Um, hopefully, G shows up and we can get get him in on that. But uh, he may not be here tonight. Uh, Shannon, then we have our, what's all right, up? Shannon. <laughs> Then we have Joel Embiid, and uh, well, we got a lot, a lot to talk about with this guy. Uh, <sighs> um, then we, uh, for our main topic of the night, we will talk about the history that was made in Hollywood last night. Because um, no matter how you feel about it, it was uh, it was something that we may never see again. And so, obviously, that's a that's an, a huge thing, right? We may never see that again. True. We most likely won't see that again. So, just yeah. you know, to acknowledge the. Um, I don't even know the word, but uh, just to acknowledge how huge of a moment that was uh, for a number of reasons, um, we'll, we'll do some talking about that. And then finally, we're going to talk about arguably the two best teams in the NFL, uh, the, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. So uh, it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be a fun show. No, there's no. <clears throat> no. Y'all are very good. You're not one of the best teams in the NFL what? right now. Nah, man. See, here you go. What's the, what's the record, Bruce? What's the records? Okay, five and two, five and two. Okay, yes, I I understand that, but right, you you're not when 
Well, the eye test says to me, y'all not one of the best teams in, in the league. Okay, You're very good. Just because better than the Lions. Like that, you know what I mean? It's okay. No. Okay, all right. It's all okay. Right. We're five it's and not two. I'm saying you can't be. I'm not saying you can't be. We're also five and two. Just Dude. a better five and two than you. Ow! <laughs> you <laughs> just look at the record, I, man. You, no, no you better. We one of people out here, man. Hey man, you know a dub is a dub. I don't care if it's about one point That's or two. You know That's I mean? true. A dub is a dub. You, you That's true. It out, I mean, you know I mean? game of inches, baby. All right, all right. I mean, we do have the number one offense in the in the league, so that, that's huge. And we got top five in, in defense, so you know what I mean? I'm just yeah, saying, you know. I'm surprised about that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm yeah. surprised. And yeah. we just add another piece. We're gonna make that a quick hit. Here yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's um. Yeah. So before we get to the quick hits, y'all, uh, you know what time it is. Let's do that, and then we'll get this thing started. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't all right, team. All right. Well, let's get right to it. Um, let's let's say. But this is not a goat debate, right? So this is more of a, right. yeah. So we're not going that deep. Like anything, Jordan, we're leaving out of it. Right. It ain't no, it ain't no comparison. This ain't no, you know, who's better? Nah, we're <laughs> asking the moment. <laughs> but I will have something to say to him. Oh my God! We can't no, no, not about Jordan. No, 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 no. Relax, relax, relax. It's not going to be uh, what it usually is, but um, you know, <laughs> I also have to still be the voice of reason. Yeah, reason <laughs> in my ass. Oh. Uh, here you go. Oh, here we go. Wow, how does he do that? How does he, young disciple? What up? He, he got, how he out. He got he out working for him. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Like right on time. That was wild. All right, well, let's get it, man. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> That young disciple got AI on his phone. Yo. Whenever they mention LeBron and Jordan in the same sentence, wow. ping me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. That was crazy. All right. Okay, man, right on time. As soon as it said history to LA, boop, Bron fan live in center. <laughs> right. That was wild. Oh, my goodness. But uh, you want to lead this off, man? You want to be the lead off for this? All right. So last night, uh, we witnessed history and a beautiful moment in the NBA history. The NBA Association yes. has been around since 1949, and we've never seen when a father who is currently actively in the NBA playing mm -hmm. a basketball game with his son, his offspring, in the same mm -hmm. game, right? right? And so last night, history was broken um, from the NBA you know, spectrum, not sports in general, that goes to the Griffies, right. um, mm -hmm. but the NBA spectrum. LeBron James Jr., a.k.a. Bronny James, got his opportunity to have that moment when he walked on the court side by side with his father and they played in a game together. Um, history right. was broken. Beautiful moment. If you guys are a uh, family, uh, you know, a family who have kids or have a son, anything like that, it, you know, it kind of hits you in a different spectrum to where you're able to see really. that. Hmm? Not really. I said okay. them, not you. I know how you feel. Oh, I, about, Shut up. I, I have right. a son. <laughs> but, you know, you have a son. Um, as you guys know, LeBron has been in the league for 22 years now. This is his 22nd season. And mm -hmm. he literally had Bronny, I believe, his third year in the NBA. Um, so literally all of his life, all of Bronny's life, LeBron James has been in the NBA. And mm -hmm. to witness the same baby that we saw him carrying on the court in the Cleveland right. Cavalier games. Him, I'm pretty sure you guys see him having the you know mm -hmm. picture of the basketball in his hand as a young toddler to literally him checking in at the scores table to get ready to play in with you, man. Uh, to me, it yeah. was such a great moment. But uh, history was history was made. Um, uh, I did play love the yeah, yeah, sure, play the clip. Um, All right, let's take a second, y'all, and um, let's uh, let's share in the history together because no matter how I feel about it, it was history and it was amazing. And I will say this, um. Y'all know kind of where I am on that, but uh, it, it it was still history, and I love history. Y'all know that I'm a proponent of history, 
But I think also, um, as much as I hate to say this, if there's any organization where this should have happened, boy, it was this one, it was the Los Angeles Lakers. So my bad. Hold up. Before, before we go, my, my bad. Hold up. My, my, What's my, up? My, my bad. Hold on. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Got to be kidding me. All right, man. My dad is. All right. Boop, boop. All right. Got to be All kidding right. me. Right there. All right. Uh, ready. Play the clip. I should have put on my damn Celtics hoodie because it was ring night and banner 18 night last night. But you know what? I'm going to chill. But you didn't. I did. But didn't. you did. <laughs> All right. So guess what? Let's we got to go. look at this beautiful purple and gold, baby. Go All ahead. Right. Go All ahead. Right. Roll the footage. Go ahead and watch history, y'all. About ready? Mm -hmm. All right. You see the intensity, right? Yeah. Just play carefree, though. Don't worry about mistakes. Just go out and play hard. History tonight. The first father son duo to play together in an NBA game. This is all in the family. So uh, there was the moment, and um, well, we saw it, and uh, well, it's over now, so that's good. So we can actually get on to some actual basketball. But um, this was again, it was it was a major moment in the in the history of the NBA. Although I do find it interesting that they keep comparing it to the Griffies, and that's not really the same thing. I, I don't know why they keep comparing it to that because Ken Griffey Jr. was the star, and his pops didn't pull any strings to get him drafted. And here's the thing, right? One thing I was telling Transformer um, yes, before we before we got online. No, 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 no. I, I'm just saying I think that I, I'm not going to bash it, but I think it would have touched people a lot more, pause, if it had happened organically and not been so manipulated. Am I fair in saying that, Transformer? Say if it had I'm sorry. I was just admiring was the good. colors that I had. On yeah, no doubt. Shoulders. No, I, I was saying I think a lot of people might have felt differently about it if it had happened more organi organically and not have been so manipulated in the way it came about. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, that's fair, right? That's fair because I believe, in my opinion, he should have been drafted. I saw he should have uh, – I definitely saw him coming on as a restricted free agent – I mean, uh, uh, a free agent signing. But I don't mm -hmm. think, you know, he kind of wanted that to happen. So, I mean, the manipulation of getting him drafted, but I do think – at the end all be all by the end of that draft, regardless if he was drafted or not, he was going to be on that Lakers team. Like, I think that's, that's just my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. To me, like I said before, to me, the 55th pick isn't that big of a deal for me. It just isn't. It truly isn't for me. Like, I, and you can have, I'm going to let you go, I'm gonna let you go with Bruce. Yeah, let you go, but to me, it's not that big of a deal because those are like swing and miss picks. You're literally five, six picks away from being undrafted, right? So at this point, we're, what we're looking at as far as the uh, the Laker team, that that 55th pick is not going to be a contributor 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 in us having a championship run uh, from what left of LeBron's career, um, what we got from AD and those other guys. Our first round pick is that. So I think we saw that as an AI first round pick. We stole it from the draft. Now, hey, with that 55th pick. Hey, Brian, you know, we, we're going to go get your son um, and you can kind of have that moment. That that was that PR publicity. Brian pulled the strings, yada, yada. I agree with that, but I do think he was going to end up a Laker even if he wasn't to get drafted. So that's just my opinion on it. All right. So here's the deal, right? You've been on one thing from the beginning. He's the 55th pick. Why are we making this such a big deal? He's the 55th pick, right? I get yep. it. However, do you know why this is such a big deal? Why is this such a big deal? You, you take take a shot at that, and it's not quite why you think. Why is this such a big deal? Him being a fifty fifth pick. No, why is it such a big deal that he's a fifty fifth pick, but he's all this attention is there? Why do you think that is? All this name. Okay, not quite. The real reason is because remember, this dude was still in high school, hadn't started in college yet. Remember, and LeBron is sitting there tweeting, watching NBA league pass. And Bronny is better than what do you say? Bronny is Ever. Bronny is better than most of the players in this league, or something like that. Yeah, uh, ish lightweight, hilarious. And then it was after one of the Lakers games. I think they lost, and LeBron there he is tweeting again. Bronny could help this team win right now, right? So yeah. remember what I've been saying. Not about Bronny. Got no problem with Bronny. Want Bronny to be successful, whether he's a Laker or not. Want the young man to have success, no matter what he wants to do, as long as it's not illegal or immoral. Got it. 
The fact is this, though. This is not about Bronny. It's about LeBron. That's why I've always been against this whole thing. Why do you think that Bronny was pushed so hard and so fast to come into the league, even though he's not ready? Because he's on LeBron's timeline. And no matter what people think, people think LeBron, some people think LeBron is a robot, a cyborg, whatever. And he has been one. <laughs> no, no, no. I was about to say he has been one for the bulk of his career, right? Yeah. We've never, keep saying it. I have to acknowledge we've never seen a guy in the league this long play at this level, or at least produce at this level. Let's say that. But, and there's a difference, produce at this level. But with that said, with that said, you see him, you see how quickly he gets mad tired now out on the floor. He knows his time is running out. So for him to do this, he had to push and pull those strings for Bronny to be there. He had to, because this is on his timeline. That's why this is problematic for me. That's all. Oh my God, Brandon, Jesus Christ. But Okay, I, I think you just be trying to push my buttons, man. I think that's what it is. Um, but yeah, that that's. I was gonna put it on the screen, but I was I wanted I wanted you to finish off your statement. But I was gonna put that on the screen. Yeah, man, this guy. Um, no, but I that that's that's the real deal. That's why this is such a problem. That's why this is such a big deal because LeBron had to open his mouth and talking about Bronny is better than all these guys, and uh, he'd be able to help the Lakers right now and this, that, and the third. That's the real problem here. Was it history? Yes. Did it look like it was a nice little moment? Yes. But we know what it's really about. And I don't know how anybody can argue that when this dude, LeBron, planted those seeds like six freaking years ago. Bronny wasn't even in high school yet when LeBron dropped those seeds. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, I would, I would love to play with my son, blah, blah, blah. So why are we acting like this isn't about him? We know what it is. We know what it is. So that's my thing. But um, I actually was listening to the Unsportsmanlike podcast on ESPN with uh, Chris Canty, Evan Cohen, and Michelle Smallman. And they had some interesting comments this morning regarding this whole situation. And um, I would like to share it, and then we can come back and discuss it. I don't know that the block does that. I think last night is more LeBron and paints the entirety of the 20 plus years of the LeBron James era of the NBA more so than just the block. And there are so many layers to this. What happens from here is really the debated part because I know that like Pat Costello, our producer, is of the belief, keep him on this team. The development is just making LeBron happy and he's going to be happy with his son around. Yeah, there's no argument about what's in the best interest of Bronny though, which is going down to the G League and having an opportunity to play every day. Like that, that's, that's what it is. Like if he's going to stay with the Lakers, or, or, I don't know that he's going to get Get the kind of burn that he's going to need to get into a flow, to get into a routine that's going to allow him to develop properly. And I guess that's the biggest, the biggest argument when it comes to what should happen for Bronny James moving forward. Because I get it. If you're LeBron, you would like to be able to go on the road with your son. And maybe there might be an opportunity for that later in the season. But right now, what's in Bronny's best interest is to actually play in games and play meaningful minutes, extended playing time. He's not going to get that with the Lakers. Not if this team is trying to win. Um, this was obviously widely debated before the Lakers inevitably drafted Bronny James, and I hope that this doesn't come off callous, but we're going to learn a lot coming up whether or not the Lakers view Bronny as a prop or a player because if they actually think that he could be a player, he's going to take the same path that everybody else would take after they have this photo op, right? Yeah. He's going to go down to the G League and he's going to earn it. If he's just there to make LeBron smile and make LeBron have that much more motivation to go out there and be the best that he can and win, which I don't think he necessarily needs more of that, but if Bronny James provides that even an ounce by having him on the Lakers and having him next to his dad on the bench, then so be it. But I think we're going to learn a lot about how the Lakers view this situation based on that decision. Yeah, but Bronny James ain't going to be better than anybody that's in the Lakers rotation right now. No, not close. Is no, he, no, not he, close. I mean, right. I mean, is he like, there for like, his like, dad or is he there to be a player? Well, I mean, we're going to find he, out. He, he, well, who is he? Who is he going to contribute more than off the bench? He ain't going to contribute more than Gabe Vincent Jackson Hayes or Dalton Connect. He's just not. Like he's, uh, I think Evan is spot on with this. Like LeBron James is not an NBA caliber player right now. Then why was he out on the floor last night? No, because but, but right because he wanted to have team. that moment with yeah. his dad. Exactly. And so you're hoping that he can develop into that. But right now, what's in the best interest of the Lakers are the eight guys that had the majority of the minutes last night. Like I was just talking with Jay Williams, who, who's going to be on Get Up with Mike Greenberg, and he's going you know, be on Greeny's radio show later on this, this morning. But one of the things that he was saying was, J.J. Redick put the best lineup together last night with the best rotation. It took Darvin Ham 50 games into his head coaching career with the Lakers before he figured that out. Mm -hmm. J.J. Redick did it on night one. I'm not going to let Bronny James interfere with that by throwing those other guys off, by playing him in minutes just because it makes his dad feel better. 
Well, it doesn't make sense. Well, I actually think we're. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I was just going to say, but what if that's what LeBron wants? What if LeBron has made it crystal clear that he wants Bronny to be alongside him throughout the season? Then what do you do if you're JJ Reddick? You do what he. <laughs> you do whatever he wants, right? Because they've already. This is not. Got you throwing to, things. It's not akin to Aaron Rodgers. It's not that far off. Like LeBron, it's LeBron's team. You do what he wants. Here, the Lakers are going to tell. But if, him, but if they do that, then they're, they're going to sandbag their season. That's what's going to happen. But he won't play. Like, but here's the thing: we the Lakers are going to tell us very clearly what they think about Bronny James as a basketball player. If Bronny James is in the NBA all year, they do not think he can play. If he goes to the G League, they think he can play. Let that's me be, let me I, be that's clear what I said, on this. a prep yeah. or a player. Well, you're going to determine whether or not he's a player. If you keep, if, if you keep him on the Lakers, you don't think that he's going to help you down the road. If you demote him, it's a promotion. If, if you think about this logically, if you demote him, you're actually promoting him because you think that he has a future. If you don't demote him, then you're saying this man, this young man, makes the second greatest player of all time so happy, so comfortable, so not passive aggressive that we wish we did this earlier. We wish we signed him out of high school if we could because if LeBron James is going to be the guy that publicly backs his coach, runs the system that his coach wants to run, is a part of creating that system, that's what you dream of. You want him in partnership with the organization. And if this gets him in partnership with the organization, I'm fine wasting a roster spot on it. I don't care. All right, so let me, let me, let me say this to start, man. It, it, there was a lot of stuff there that pissed me off. All right. Wait. That man said something I was screaming at Darvin Ham about all last season. <sighs> Get that fucking rotation right, bro. Get it right. <laughs> like, bro, we fans are screaming, dog, stop putting in three freaking guards at the one, two, and three. What are you doing? I hated that so much about Darvin Ham. He was right about JJ Riggs saying, F that, bro. We're putting this lineup together. We're gonna roll with it. But go ahead. I just I, took that I, I, a couple of that different way. Um, that was one of the notes I took. I'm no, I don't know if you saw me writing while while they were talking, but that was actually one of the notes I took. Was it really annoyed me that they immediately got to crapping on Darvin Ham to prop up JJ Redick? But that's fine because JJ's gonna suck this year. He's and... not wrong. He's not wrong. That lineup okay. worked. That lineup was much better. If you look at like and 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 this is why I, I kind of want you to just look back, take LeBron out of it, right? Look mm -hmm. at what Darvin Ham was doing with that roster last year. It was lineups where I'm just like, what? That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make basketball, so, sense, right? The and, only thing I'll say about that is, on some level, it had to make sense. Darvin Ham is a championship assistant. He is a guy who played in the league for a long time, as we know, and he he cut his teeth. And made his bones as a coach. He worked his way up. He didn't get picked because somebody liked him. But that's a different story. But I don't and think that. I don't think that, that, that puts him beyond reproach, though. That you. Just I was about to say that doesn't. Body. That doesn't mean that he can't make egregious mistakes. Anyone can. But I would rather go with. All right. I, I didn't like. To me, it seemed like they were trying to throw Darvin Ham under the bus to prop up JJ Redick. There is a concerted effort to to big up everything LeBron does and make it look like this guy is some sort of genius, but we'll get there. Right. So here's the thing. Um, all right. So the, the, I'll go backwards. So the last thing that we heard was, um, uh, what was it? Uh, do, do what LeBron wants. So we heard Evan Cohen talking about if you're in a position and you can get LeBron to buy in and listen to the coach and to, uh, to be a part of this and do what the coach wants. I'm like, wait a minute. This is the guy that y'all told me for all these years was the most unselfish superstar. And when I said he was selfish, y'all called me a hater. This is the guy for all these years that I said isn't coachable. Y'all told me I lied. Right? Not you, but y'all. Okay, no, I'm letting you cook. Uh, this ain't to me. Yeah, no, right, right, right. No, it's not to you. Not at all. This is Y'all told me I lied. Y'all told me I'm a hater. Y'all told me I'm hating on a black man. I wake up every morning just to find a reason to hate on another black man. Here we go. But we hear, we hear. The people who know, right? The, we, the people who know, the reporters, the, the media people, so on and so forth, they're sitting here telling you, what did they say? If you go back and listen and you can listen in, in, on the replay, they're saying if you can get LeBron to buy in and buy listen in. to the coach and be part of the. So what does that tell you? For most of his career, he wasn't doing that. He is selfish. I've been saying it for years, but nobody wants to hear me because I'm not a LeBron. I'm not a LeBron fan. So they say I'm a hater. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to it, Bruiser, definitely. Um, uh, you know what? Let's do it right now, and then I'll get back to that. AD got busy, absolutely, 36, 16, and four blocks. And if he can continue, you know, to play somewhat on that level or play along the level that he played last year, it's it's going to be a good look, man. He definitely got busy, absolutely, Bruce. Let's let's give AD his, his, his flowers for sure. He got busy. 
Um, I wish that man could play the yes. defensive player of the year every game. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> he right. took that shit. Yeah, first. yeah, he sure did. <laughs> he took that first. He like, what? The yeah. he, how did he get defensive player of the year? Yeah, oh, well, yeah. the uh, but, Minnesota Timberwolves had a better uh, team defensive rating. Yeah, okay, but, they don't make him the best player. <laughs> when, but when he was in the game, though, like he contributed mightily to that. So let me let me just yeah. say something real quick. People are like, "Oh, he was getting banged on." That's your defensive player of the year, and I'm like, "That's the stupidest thing ever." How many times do we see elite shot blockers get piked on? Why does that happen? Because they're always trying to protect the rim. They're doing the damn job. They're not making business decisions and moving out of the way when guys attack the rim. So let's stop acting like because you get dunked on, you're not playing defense. That is so dumb. And only people who don't know basketball would say something that's stupid. So D-Rob man. got dunked on. Dream got dunked on. Ewan got dunked on. Zoe got dunked on. All these dudes got dunked on. And every one of them has been first or second team all NBA defense multiple times. And everyone except Patrick Ewing has been defensive player of the year. Stop it. So Go ahead, bro. Why, why, why are we making a big deal when Bron got dunked on, man? Don't even. We're not doing <laughs> watch that. Watch not doing make that. Let me, he got dunked let on. Me get, let me get back to my points, man. We, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And and let me let me reiterate. Let me reiterate for anybody listening and anybody who's watching on the replay. None of this that I'm kicking right now has anything to do with Bronny, because I want Bronny to have success. I just don't think he's good enough for that. Now, no. um, next false narrative, right? Did you hear them say that? Um, when they asked, uh, well, why was when they were saying that Bronny's not an NBA player right now? Well, why was he? And uh, Michelle Smallman says, well, why was he on the floor last night? And Chris Canty says. Because he wanted to have the moment with his dad. See how we just lie and push false narratives for why do we lie and push false narratives for LeBron all the time? Why do we do that? But when Bronny that himself true or not. Bronny bro said it. I keep it could, I keep No, it could be like this. Bro, I am tired of this shit. Hurry up and get this moment over with. <laughs> Put me in the game now. Right? How do we know he ain't saying that? Like, bro, I'm tired of these cameras. I'm tired. Like, I just want to focus on being the boy. Okay. Like, I want to focus on play. So, like, let's try, like let's multiple things can be true mind. until we hear mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because well, it, 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 it could be a flip. He's talking like, dream, he my tired dad. Mom, like. we, did hear, we did hear Bronny say that. We heard him yeah. say that. Right. So, th so, that's how we know that. Secondly, secondly, it's just frustrating to me how the mainstream sports media, especially ESPN, just has to carry this water for LeBron. Like, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? It drives me crazy, but that's cool. So now we see we see two things. We see the fact that LeBron is supposed to be uh, coachable. We saw that exposed lie. So I guess the white man hating on a black man now, right? I guess so. Okay, cool. So we saw that. That's a lie. Number one. Number two. We see the uh, sports media uh, put carrying the water for LeBron and lying, saying that uh, Bronny wanted to have the moment with his dad. That's a lie because we have it out of Bronny's own mouth. Pause. That's a lie. Okay, that's another lie. Good. Now we mentioned. Um, uh, they mentioned, excuse me, if the Lakers are serious and they think Bronny can play, they'll send him to the G League. You know what I've been thinking? Even though I believe with all my heart that Bronny, that, that LeBron stole a spot from somebody to give to his son, if you send him to the G League, it's not a good move. They are going to destroy him down there. The G League is full of nothing but... You can make. But the G League is full of hungry dogs, uh, 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 Transformer. And think about this, right? There are going to be some cameras, obviously not as much as the NBA, but there's going to be cameras that go with Bronny. There's going to be reporters that get sent. Okay, follow, follow Bronny around. This is your job. You're on, you're on the Bronny beat, right? And guess what? Those G leaguers down there who are fighting, who don't have millions and are trying to get to the NBA so they can feed their families and do what they have to do. They're going to say, Oh, what? Oh, you came to see him. You about to see me. And they're going to go at him. Remember when Lonzo Ball first came in the league and Pat Bev, that very first game. So, okay. Your pops was talking all that. I got something for you. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it was. And those G League dudes down there, man, they are hungry. And I'm yeah. telling you, they are going to destroy Bronny when he gets but, down there. Go ahead. But I think, I think either way, that's a move you exactly, have to right. make. You okay. have to make that move. Right? Okay. Because if not, what are you going to do? Just put him on a bench. And then when he gets in the NBA in the real game, that he gets cooked by them. You're going to get cooked regardless. Like you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to take those punches, bro. Like, and mm -hmm. I think that you you're sending him to the league G League. Yes, mm -hmm. there's gonna be games he can eat him up, but guess what? You're getting play time. You're getting reps. That's you're spending true. Times with an NBA coach. You're spending time with an NBA dynasty. Like, mm -hmm. there, like you have those tips. You have that plan time. You sitting on mm -hmm. the bench and riding the pine all year. 
you're not getting game reps. You're not feeling that pressure of the competition. You're not going out there getting cooked. You're, you're going to get cooked. Everybody gets cooked. Everybody gets their barbecue chicken on your dime. Son, they are coming for your head. Your father <laughs> is LeBron James. They right, are coming right. for your head. Damn, you being drafted. They were coming at you regardless. They were coming after you regardless, right, based on things right. that Bronny said. And two, of course, who LeBron is and his stature in the NBA. So he's going to get cooked regardless. So I think at this point, you I mean, I've been saying it all year, and I said this since the draft. They're going to get their PR out the way, right? We're going to mm-hmm. have this moment. We're going to we're going to bask in the glory of Bronny playing with playing with his father. But after that, he goes to the G League. Why? Because you need to develop him. What did JJ Riddick say when he first got on that team? We're looking at player development. Oh yeah, yeah. We're looking at player development. How does that connect? Okay, we're looking at developing Bronny to be able mm-hmm. to stand and play him in these games, right? You know what I mean? He's going he's not going to get the reps. We mm-hmm. are we are in trying to get to the championship mode. He does right, not beat right. nobody off of that bench. All hey, 12 guys, he's not beating nobody on that bench, right? So at that point, say, hey, we're, ha- we're having a celebratory moment. The G League hasn't started yet. By the mm-hmm. time the That's G League true. started, hey, you know, hey, we're going to have, we're going to mm-hmm. do it down. And I'm pre- for, for Bronny, I'm 100% positive. He's like, please, please mm-hmm. send me there. Right. right, these guys are in win now mode. I don't know, man. Because the the biggest media who's gonna hate him, hate this move the most is the Laker media. Laker media ain't gonna play that. Like, why is he here? He's not contributing, right? When we have we have bigger pieces, better pieces that are sitting on that bench. Like, he's not contributing value. But minute, send that man down to the G League, and perhaps we get Dwight Howard to fill in that that twelfth spot. You know what I mean? We get another big to fill in that twelfth spot. So, I, me as a Laker fan. Oh, hell no. Send that motherfucker to the damn G League. Congratulations, Bronny. It's going to get Congratulations, destroyed. Bron. But you go to the G League. Take those wounds. Take those punches. Take that ass whooping. Take that butt cutting. When you got in trouble, right. when you were growing up, right, and you came mm-hmm. home, you're like, damn, man, I knew I fucked with that. But guess what? Hey, you know that butt cutting coming. You know mm-hmm. that butt cutting coming. You take it, you move on, you learn from it. He's going to get that butt cutting, whether he's in the G League or whether he's in the, sitting on the NBA, sitting on the bench. Nobody want to see the man come in and play three minutes a game. Right. Come on, bro. Right. Send the man in the GBB. He can play 20, 15, mm-hmm. 20 minutes, 25. Get those reps. Get into it with the like NBA coaches. There's valuable NBA coaches in the G League. People don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? There's coaches out there. So he's gonna have to get that, bro. He's gonna have to get All that. Right. You're gonna have to get that work. Um get Brandon, I, I get what you're saying, man, but you know this is one of the, the biggest stories in the world of sports right now. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Um, young disciple reps, Chris. Um, I know, I know you're a LeBron James guy. I know you're a LeBron James guy, young disciple. So I guess that extends to junior as well. But the fact is this, you cannot say he belonged in the McDonald's all America game when his pops had to call to get him on the team. Stop that. That's just disingenuous. Cut that out, man. Cut that out. Um, let's see. Uh, Bruce says, I love Bronny because he shows no emotion. He's a very stoic young man. I think he's in a position where he can't show emotion here. Like, what would he do, right? He can't. He's got to be tough because of all the pressure that's on him. And unfortunately, that's pressure created by his father. So, I mean, it is what it is. All right. Uh, yeah, so this this whole thing, like I said, it was supposed to be a celebration. And it was supposed to be, you know, just a great moment to see. And I think it was both of those things. But at the same time, like I said, the, the problem that so many people have is how it came about. And that's yeah. my biggest issue. And again, I, I'm going to make it clear. I'm going to say it again, Laker or not, I want Bronny to succeed. He's a young man and I don't wish him ill. Just like I wouldn't want someone to wish my son ill. I want Bronny to succeed. I just hate how this all happened. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and um, 904 219 8264. He didn't do it right, child. I got you. That, that's the number and it's scrolling on the bottom. But but hold on, y'all. I want Bruce to call first. I, I think he's got to get out of here. So I want to make sure he gets his call through. After Bruce gets his call, then anybody else could call. So Bruce, call now. Bruce, call now. Oh, he was trying to call already? No. He he had um said in the chat earlier, can he call? He went, he'll make it quick. So I don't know if he's got to get out of here or what. But I'm okay. telling you, Bruce, call, call now. Call After now that, for your free tatted reading. <clears throat> But yeah, that, that's where I am on this whole thing, man. It It's just, it's a show. It's a publicity stunt. And we know it's all about LeBron. 
And I'm sure this, you know, this is going to be a wonderful part of his documentary that he's been setting up. So, you know, um, all right, here we go. Format podcast, Bruce, what up? Hey, man, what's going on? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Me and, uh, Hakeem, your dream. Hakeem, your dream. <laughs> That's a quarter every hey, time I play boy, that, how right? Your boy, how your boy feeling tonight? Oh, maintaining, brother. Maintaining. Hey, man, Thank you know, man, you know, we just won and oh, just chilling AD out there dominating, you know what I mean? Just, we we won and oh, too. We raised it. We we collected some rings and raised the banner. But oh, go I ahead, bro. I don't hear that shit. Damn. Real quick. I'm going to make I'm gonna make it quick because I do, I do want to call back a little later for the Raven talk. Okay. I got some big opinions on that. Bet. Um, I just like Brownie. I like his, I like I like that he's not emotional. Mm -hmm. He's he's very he's a very stoic young man. Um, I think he, the kid is good. The kid is good. It, it, it was he's other not. players drafted. It was other it was other players drafted this year that averaged less points than him. A lot of players get drafted off potential. Understand what I'm saying? But it's all they already said it like a month or two ago that he will be in the G League. It's no, going to happen. They yeah. said that. Oh yeah, I know. And you what? And that was a good point you made, Bruce. I like it, Braun. You was right about that. You know your shit. You do your research. Um, Braun didn't make that call for my, for the all, all American. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make that call. Yeah. Uh, one more one more point. Uh, when you say LeBron. Are you you, break, you breaking up, bro? Say that again, please. You say LeBron don't listen to his coach. No, mm. man, you don't listen nah, to his coach. He, I'm saying this he's he's not coachable. No. Wherever you at, bro, you're breaking up a lot, Jay. Yeah, I think you're in a bad spot, Bruce. Oh. You're breaking up bad. Try it again. Hello, you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. He went that he went he ran the east for he ran the East for down there 11 years. Mm -hmm. how, he not, how he didn't listen to his coach. Only coach I say he didn't really listen to, just two on me didn't listen to. Okay. Darvin Ham and David Black. Right. Definitely and didn't he, listen he to both. He got him out. He got David Black out, out of there quick. Mm -hmm. And they was number one in the East. I think they had yep. the best record in the NBA and they yep. got him up out of there. But, um, Mike Brown. Um, I want to say that it. <laughs> Yo, you you are in a terrible spot, Bruce. You keep breaking up, man. I know you got some good stuff here, man. Can you can you get somewhere where the signal's better and try to call us back? Because I definitely want to hear what you have to say. You hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Try it again. Do you hear me now? Yes, try it again. I said you say that he's selfish, uh, bro. You can't really say that. Don't just try to put that on him. I'm pretty sure all Hall of Famers had didn't get along with their coach at one point in time. Okay. Understand what I'm saying? Are you looking for a response or are you speaking? I don't want to cut you off. Understand? Do you see what I'm trying to say? Y'all trying to say he's selfish. Most Hall of Famers are so. Zombie? Yes and no, right? So if if you because okay, you okay. just you just said that um, most Hall of Famers don't get along with their coach at some time. Have we ever seen one that's gotten this many coaches removed and then try to act like he had nothing to do with it? Let's be real here. Mm, the, let me don't, see. I'm don't. Try okay, to go quick, ahead. I'm sorry. You tried to do a quick break, so go ahead. Finish talk. No, I was just going to say, I think also a part of this, because we know that we know that LeBron is really a long game kind of guy, right? Pause. And I think that one of the things we know is that, and we can kind of see it now, this whole circus with Bronny, we don't know how Darvin Ham, who's a down to business guy, would have taken that. And so LeBron's like, sure. I got to get somebody in here. Who I can control that's going to do what I want to do, and that's JJ so, Reddick. Yeah, go ahead. So, what's the difference between what LeBron did and what Kyrie, James Harden, and, and KD did in Brooklyn when he said they could coach their own team? How, how disrespectful was that? That was very disrespectful. Um, I, I you weren't around for it. I don't think I was doing lives at the time, but I, I definitely I went in on that. Um, I'm sure you can find it if you dig further back. So and yeah, I agree. It happens. It happens in all sports. Players don't get along. They coach. You can sit in the NFL, baseball. It just it's just a natural state of people having emotions, and everybody just don't get along. Yeah, they Bruce. Don't listen to I I mm -hmm. don't I don't disagree with it happening in every sport you. and that every superstar. But we talking about to the level that it is with LeBron. Like well, if we guys, if we go down, look, this dude's gotten like eight or nine coaches I'm, fired. I'm gonna get off, I'm gonna get off the fire. I'm gonna hold you up to. I know somebody else wants to get off. Okay. This is this 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 this, this face it, bro. LeBron is the king, bro. 
He's the king. He, 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 he big boss man right now. Well, he you got know power. what? He, he, got, he got power, yo. This, this <laughs> admit that the guy got, you just don't like, he abusing his power. You know what? He basically abused, he abused his power. Oh, he definitely did that. He definitely did that. But yeah, I'll I tell you what. You're right. LeBron is the king, but I'll ride with... Uh, My king, your dream. <laughs> 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 All right, listen, I'm going to call back a little later, man, for the right, brother. Chief joint. No doubt, All man. Right, bro. Thank you for calling. All right. All right. Hello? Hello? All right, what's up, man? Hey, what's good? Young oh, Disciple. Oh, shit. The How you doing, man? in the building. Hey man, I I, I ain't appreciate all that all, all, like all that hate, man. Get that hate out your heart, man. Get that, like get like get that hate out your heart, man. Hey bro, bro, boss up, bro. Like them two words, <laughs> I want I, I want I want everybody to to go by, bro. Boss up, bro. Mm -hmm. Like 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 it, if hey if LeBron could pull the strings that he pulled, nigga, to get his son in the league, boss up, bro. So like, like, nigga, it, my bad. Go ahead. Cause, cause, because like like who who like who else who who else would you have liked them to draft, bro? So let me just uh, look. I'm just gonna say this. Like you and I, we've been back and forth on this. We 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 had a a good <laughs> debate on this, a good spirited debate on this uh, a few weeks ago. So like, it's not nah, even a point nah, of nah. you been going, running. It's you not been even, running. You been running, bro. No, 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 no. I'm running. not. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about like maybe about a month ago. You and I really we we had a good one. But I I don't even think we are we are diametrically opposed on this thing. At the end of the day. You're a LeBron guy, and I respect that, and this that's, that's this fine. Ain't about being no, but this ain't about being no LeBron guy, bro. No, but, you keep saying that. No, you, but you, listen, 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 the reason I okay, say I mean, that is because every time I criticize the dude, you're, you're, you are jumping to his defense as if you're getting paid to do so. You know what I'm saying? And and if you bro, you didn't even listen bro. to hear me say multiple times, I wish Why Bronny success. I'm not. I don't have a problem with Bronny. I wish yes, him the do. best. But yes, I, but yes, you do. I you just, do have a problem with it, bro. I, you voice your problem every time, every time, every time, the, every time the the, the 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 subject come up, bro. You voice it, bro. Like so, you do have a problem with it. I and, just and I wish I and I wish all you like listen, bro. Uh, let, let me be honest with you, bro. Okay. It just look just, like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if all y'all like dudes who 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 super hypercritical on LeBron. Like I don't, I don't know if y'all peep it. I don't know if y'all can sense it or not. It just looks weird, bro. When you have a pattern of of of, of being hypercritical with his dad, for y'all to switch that target, bro, and, and point it at his son. I, I, I just don't know. Like like that that that, that look real real. Okay, so whoa, whoa, hold, hold on, fam, hold on. Pick, Hold on, hold on. Give me a 55 pick, bro, that you got this kind of smoke for, bro. Okay. Give me one. Okay, hold on, hold on. See, right? I'm, 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 I'm trying not to get irritated right now because what you're doing get is irritated you're, as you want to get. You're, you're, mis, you're misrepresenting my position, right? Because, again, I will, say no, it, I will say it time and time again. I have said it time and time again, not just on this episode, okay, but ahead. on previous ones, that I have, no, right, I have no issue whatsoever with Bronny. With I that. want Bronny to have success. Hold on. Transformer. Have, have I not said that multiple times across multiple yeah. episodes? It I don't have an issue with Bronny. It's not about you saying it. It ain't about you saying it, bro. Like, like your content, your content doesn't mirror that. It doesn't reflect that, bro. So, like, I mean, I mean, y'all have to be honest with yourself, bro. No, like, you like, have to like, be honest with yourself, bro. You talking about you talking about the stuff that looks weird. I'm gonna tell you what looks weird that is that weird. every time somebody criticizes LeBron, you and the people like you got to jump up to defend this dude, like you're in some kind of freaking personal mercenary army for this cat. He's not paying bro, you. Bro. Bro, He's bro, not bro, paying bro, bro, bro. you, fam. But who? But who paying you? Damn. Who paying you? All y'all. Actually, yeah, it's a yeah, yeah, all y'all. Listen to what? So, I'm so, not getting so, rich. So, so, so you think? So, so you think? So you think because you sit on YouTube, nigga, and you have an opinion, right? And then, and then you do like you do the little sneaky stuff that, like, like you bring the opinion that, that, that whatever that dude name is that I, that I seen last week that we know, but like, like, like you like to buffer your own little, like your, your buffer your own little points, so your own little your, the little thing that you got like against run, like bro, a nigga, a nigga see through that, bro. We, a nigga, a nigga see through nigga, you, man, that, all that, bro. A nigga see through y'all, bro. Like so, just stay, just state what it is. Y'all got a problem with LeBron, <laughs> so anything, so anything LeBron do, nigga, y'all gonna come on, y'all gonna come on these little these, these little shows, y'all 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 gonna produce content, like finding a way, like to make it negative. It doesn't matter. 
Uh, bro, it don't matter about you saying nigga, that, that you don't got a problem with Bronny. It, that, that, that doesn't matter, bro. It sure don't matter, bro. When, when, when at, the, at the end of the day, nigga, keep, throw rocks at the phone. Nigga, don't have no problem with don't have no problem with LeBron. My man, like, come on, let's be real. My man, why you get so and, 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 why do you get so emotional over somebody you don't know? Real talk. Why is it, y'all? I, 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 I support, support him. him. Bro, bro, why do you get so emotional? I ask you the same thing. Why are you hypercritical of a person you don't know? All I do is tell the truth. I don't lie. I don't make stuff up. I back up everything that I say about this cat. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right, cool, no, cool. All right, but listen. Prove to me. Prove to me he's not coachable right now. Prove to me he's not coachable. What? Because we know Why for a fact. Okay, okay, coachable? okay. Hold on, hold on. So we know for a fact. We know for a uh-huh. fact. One. This this is uh-huh. so explain to me how this is coachable. The coach is drawing uh-huh. up plays, everybody's in the huddle, and you walking away completely ignoring what's going on. So tell me, tell me in what sport thing. and on what level that's coachable. You just said prove to me that he's not coachable. I did that, that and watch right. you move the damn goalpost now. Watch no, you do that. No, no, I ain't gonna move nothing. Now tell me how many coaches how many coaches the broad head. Oh man, he's been in the league twenty two uh, years. I want to say he's at eleven or twelve coaches now. Is it that? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. No, 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 no. He had nine. He got nine. nine. Now, how many coaches Kobe had? Um, yeah, counting yeah, counting interims, I want to say nine. Yeah. Kobe wasn't. So, so, yeah, go so ahead. Why don't it, hold on, so why don't anybody ever say Kobe wasn't coachable? Because Kobe wasn't getting coaches fired. Kobe wasn't blatantly ignoring what the coaches say. Oh, how, 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 like, like, how, Dan Tony. He got Dan Tony up out of there though. He got, he got that Kobe. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, I stand that's corrected. One, that's the one. Well, guess what? He, he guess what? Though. Okay. So, 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 let, so Kobe, not, so Kobe, not coachable. How? Explain. Explain to me. Okay. So one so equals not coachable then. one equals eight or nine. Then, huh? That's that's what we saying. Bro, you, you you just gave me a, you just that's gave me one. In, you bro, you just put up one instance. So what you said? No, you, you asked me. You you asked me to give you one instance, one example of LeBron not being no, coachable. No, 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 I did that. You bro, asked me one instance. One instance ain't gonna prove that a player is coachable. Or not. You let's are, be honest with you. Let's, let's, let's be honest, bro. Don't move, I didn't don't. say give me one instance. I didn't say give me one. I said prove to me he, you that said, he's not coachable. You said give me an example. Instance, you said prove to me he's not coachable. One, give me an example. Bro, That's what you said. One instance. One instance. So you mean to tell me you see LeBron do that one time? That proves to you in your head that he's not coachable. Oh no, there's more than that. There's more than that. But look, Wait, give, I, it I, I, give it to I, me. Give it to me. Listen, listen, my brother. No, I don't, give it to me, I don't, bro. Listen, don't run. I don't got to do this with you, man. Give me run, that run, give it to me. It ain't even. It, it's you not even about running. Bro. You always running, bro. Give it, it to me. All the, all, the, all the stuff that you say go unfurled, bro. It go. It go. It go. Hey, nobody give you no pushback on it. Now I'm giving you pushback on it. Show me, I, nigga. Prove to me all the stuff that you say, nigga. Be true. And it's facts. Be right now. You all right? You sound like you about to pop a blood vessel over no, there, bro. No, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm sick of you, nigga, with these things. Yeah, I'm sick of y'all with these things. Whoa, whoa. These, bro, 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 man, bro. man, first of all, first of all, first of all, hold on, you got to, all right, listen, 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 listen. Hold on, hold on, calm down, calm down. One, I'm calm cool, down. Cool. Two, cool. chill with the N-word, chill with the N-word, and then we'll go ahead. All right, I appreciate that. All right, I appreciate that. So, Prove to me that all the uh-huh. narratives that you that you, that uh, that uh, that you that you that you lift up on your channel, prove to me right now that they are facts. So have not we, opinions. Have we not seen LeBron get multiple coaches fired? We've seen that, no, right? No, 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 we, we haven't. We've seen that, right? No, no, we have. No, we haven't. I, hey, y- y'all the same ones. Y'all the same yeah. ones that try to come to door. Y'all the same ones that try to come to door and ham. Uh, 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 yeah, try to take off a door and ham, saying like, like, like LeBron got rid of a black coach. What about when he got rid of black nigga to put Tyler Lue in there? What about that? Listen, I never, I never complain. I, I like that you got Tyron Lue um, hired. That's a, that's a great hire, I, and Tyron Lue is a great coach. Story. So I, did he get, I've never so complained about get, that. Did he get black fired or did he empower a black coach? Tell me which one it is. Two things can be true. He definitely got black fired, but he so, also got so Toronto new hired. So, so why do I ever hear you uh, up and up, uh, put that on the pedestal? That, that, he, that, that he empowered a black man, gave, uh, uh, gave Tyron Lou his first opportunity, which to be what we, we, can both, we can both say right now is the reason why he got the opportunity with the Clippers right now. Yeah. So let's talk about it. I'll, I'll give you that. So, so, yeah. so why you don't so why you don't never up that is what I'm asking. So I will give you that, right? And you know what? Man, yeah, hold on, hold on. You didn't let me can you, can you let me finish? Can, can you let me finish, fam? Finish, can you let me finish? Can you, finish bro. Can you, Go on finish, bro. All right, cool. Go on finish. What I was gonna say is you're right. 
And I need to mention that more. I was actually going to say that. But you so up in your feelings. You so up. In, I've, I've never seen anything like this, man. But when I open my feelings, you, you see why though? You see why? Because, no, I don't see why. Instead of, instead of y'all, look, look, look. Instead of y'all taking time and looking at the full picture, what y'all do is, if y'all run with, but before I just told you that, you said you never even thought about that. Why? Why did you, why the hell did you ever thought about that, bro? Okay, okay, you know what? This, who this is, is y'all, man? Who is y'all? Say he. No, no, the, re the reason I haven't he, thought he about that. He know what I'm talking about, bro. I ain't talking about you, Transformer. This ain't got nothing to do with you, Transformer. I the swear to God, this ain't got nothing to do with so, you, bro. So, so you, you asked me why I haven't thought about that. You ever heard You ever heard the expression, and pardon my profanity, you ever heard the expression, it takes, what is it, it takes 10 attaboys to get over one oh shit? You ever heard that expression? Oh, come on, bro. Have you heard that expression? Hey, come on, bro. Have you heard that expression? The, the point, listen what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying. You gonna let me talk? You call in and then you don't let me talk. You scream and yell all over the phone. Calm down, man. So what, what, what I'm saying is this, right? When you see a whole bunch of negativity, it stands out more than the one good thing, right? So yes, he, he empowered Teron Lu and that helped and that helped Teron Lu get that Clippers job. No question about it. You are right. I don't have, see, see how I can do that. I don't have a problem with saying a, you're right on that. Why, that's the reason why Tyron Lue right now look at, look at as one of the greatest coaches in the game right now. The world did that. I just finished saying you're right. I'm just saying. I just, just finished saying. saying. LeBron did that. I'm just saying LeBron did that. Uh, so so we can we, we can get rid of the, we, we can get rid of the narrative. Uh, no, we can't. Uh, 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 Hell no, we can't. No, no. What you mean? We get oh he, so he did one thing. We can get rid of the narrative that he gets coaches fired because he got one hired. Come on, okay, man. Okay, now give Stop me, it. Now, now give me now give me the black coach that Kobe uh, and, and, and Mike empowered. I'll wait. Um, I don't think I don't think Mike. Uh, um, excuse me, Kobe never. Uh, I'll wait. Not Kobe. Mike never had a black coach though. No. I'll wait. I'll so what's your point? I'll wait. But I don't. Uh, Kobe, I don't. Kobe did. Kobe did. Kobe so, didn't get a black coach. Well, first, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Mike. Yes, 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 I'm yes, talking yes, about Mike, and then we're going to go to Kobe Transform, next. He got Transformer. He got Mike Brown fired. Let's be real. Oh, oh. Mike yes, Brown. Mike Brown left. Yes, he, he didn't uh, get him fired. Transformer. 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 These are the same things y'all said about LeBron. We don't know Wait a minute. Fired. We don't know who LeBron fired. Oh, I mean, oh, come I, on, I, would say, I would say it's true because I definitely say Kobe got Mike D'Antoni fired. He definitely got him fired. <laughs> but LeBron got people fired. Oh, I mean, Players, players get a lot of coaches fired these days. Transformer, Transformer. All, all I'm saying is it's the same thing, bro. But, 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 but if a coach, if a coach, if a coach lose his job, nigga, nigga, why, I mean, if a coach lose his job while LeBron playing for him, it's LeBron got him fired. If, if a coach lose his job while, 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 uh, while Kobe playing for him, it, it ain't the same type of smoke. Okay, so okay, so let's try this, right? So first, you started off by mentioning that LeBron is at nine head coaches in the league, and you were correct. Um, so nine head coaches in the league, and we know for a and fact Kobe had more. Kobe we, had more. We know for a fact that a lot of those before he, you know, six of those got fired while well, LeBron. Have you ever heard of the common denominator? You heard of that? That's called what LeBron. Do you mean six of, so 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 how many of the, how many of the 10, 11 coaches that Kobe had got fired, nigga? Why 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 why, why, why coaching Kobe? Wait, so why why we so why okay, so why is it that we hear that LeBron gets coaches fired? Not saying that everything you hear is correct, but we don't hear that That's about Kobe. Right. Man, bro, I don't no, know. No, no, I'm asking bro, you. I'm asking I, you. Bro, that, bro, bro, I can't speak to no narrative. See, that's, that's a mm -hmm, narrative, bro. Mm -hmm. That's, a, that's mm -hmm. something that me, you, Transformer, G, nobody nobody around that's talking right now can verify, bro, that LeBron get coaches fired, bro. So why go with that narrative? Okay, so let me, let me, let me, let me check this. I want to make sure I understand what, what you hey, are saying hey, or what you're saying. Are it, you it, saying it, that, it, it, are you saying you don't believe LeBron gets coaches fired? I want to, is that what you're saying? I don't want to put words in your mouth. No, I want to no, understand no, what, 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 what I'm saying is, is that whether I believe it or not, mm -hmm. it's a narrative. It's an opinion. I have no facts to base what I say. What, what I'm saying, what, whatever my answer will be, I will have no facts to back that up. The way you sit on here and say LeBron proves Oh, okay, right, okay, okay, okay. That's emphatically incorrect, bro. That, that's, that's not emphatically, emphatically incorrect, incorrect, but I got, I got an example for you. Okay, I got an example for you. He tried oh God, to get Spolster right. fired. He's tried to get Spolster fired. You know how we know that? Because Pat Riley wrote it in his damn book. He tried to get bro, Spolster fired, bro, and Pat bro, Riley blocked that. Bro, so now. Bro, 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 bro. That's one coach, bro. That's so, one coach. So, so every time I say something, it's that's one. That's one. 
That's one. Hey, bro, bro, Come on, man. Bro, bro, Calm bro, down, bro, fam. Bro, 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 the other stuff you talking about, bro, can't even be verified, bro. So, so LeBron, so LeBron, so, so LeBron went into Pat Riley offense to, trying to get Pat Riley. Right. Bro, bro, you don't, you, 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 don't, you don't put nothing in context, bro. I oh my the way goodness. To the <laughs> bro, I don't know why. Bro, can I talk? I just listen to you, bro. I did. Go I, ahead, man. Go ahead. I, I don't know. I was the weight of the of the world was on the bronze uh, uh, shoulders, nigga. At the first year in Miami, what what he was asked to was, was for to get this rookie out of here and give me Pat Riley. And you mean to tell me you want to do the same thing? Wow. So now the excuse is because all the pressure was on the bronze. Transformer. Transformer. So that's what you, the, Transformer. The same pressure the bronze asked for. Let me let me ask, let me ask Transformer. What? Are you serious? Not one, oh, okay, right, not bro. two, right. not three. Right, not f- Come right. on, man. Get out of here, man. Right. Come on. That was an exaggeration. Man, that, man. that was not a day. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Well, I'll be, let's be honest. We always moved he, got up, he got up to seven, eight, nine. Yeah, come, come on, on, man. That wasn't realistic. Come on. Come on. We got to stop hold this. Hold on, hold on, quick. Oh, okay, okay, but that's all right. That, 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 that's it, bro. I got to check out some videos right now, but that's it. I'll, I'll hit y'all at a later date. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for calling. All right. Ooh, okay. Um, <laughs> man, I, I love tell you, I, when I, he calls, man. I, yes, I've sir. Never, I've never seen like. So he back. says he says it's weird because allegedly I hate LeBron, and then I transfer to hate to Bronny, which y'all have acknowledged. I don't have any issue with Bronny. I say it time and time again. I just hate how it happened. But even still, it's weird that I allegedly have a problem with Bronny. But it's not weird that he's up here screaming and yelling and huffing and hollering about another man he doesn't even know. That's not weird. You see how these people, they, they, you're laughing because you know what I'm saying is true. You're laughing because you know what I'm saying is true. You see how these people yeah. are? Sometimes it's okay, guys, to have a debate without yelling. Listen, I was trying not to. Hey, but young disciple, bro, if you're listening, just fall back a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, you know, two things can be true. It's all opinions, right? A lot of it's is, is opinions, but we go by, you know, you know, factual data. Everybody oh, damn, has a voice. Didn't see people was trying to. Oh, uh, I think uh, I think Lincoln Nation was uh, definitely trying to call. Okay, he was trying to get on conference call with him. Hello. Yeah, yeah, but I had to call back so I can finish my call, bro. I want, okay. to, I want, to, I want, to, I want to hear the end of what you had to say. I, I, I ain't want to be like that, but, but let me hear the end of what you got to say. Oh man, I don't even remember to be honest. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. I, I don't my, even remember. My, my 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 only thing is is bro, it, it, you you you, it, like like y'all call it moving a goalpost with somebody it, like brings in somebody else to show y'all that it, it it like this 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 type of stuff ain't just happen with LeBron, bro. But y'all highlight it, and then and then when somebody brings somebody else in, y'all y'all feel like 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 like, like it's moving the goalpost. Now, nah, bro, we just trying to show. We, I, I, I just don't like I just don't like people overlooking when other people do stuff or when other people have d- done stuff like like it almost seemed to me bro like like you expected LeBron to beat KG uh, Ray Allen Paul Pierce Rondo and Doc Rivers by itself like like that like to me you would have you would have rather him sit in Cleveland not never get no help and just run up against that four-headed monster, and it don't matter what happened. Just right, to so, say he lost. So I'm like, gonna, like, that's, I'm like, that's what so, I take out of it. All right, so I'm going to say this real quick, and then I'm going to let you go, because we could do this all night. But I'm going to say this real quick. Um, hold on one second. Brandon, what's good, bro? Hold, hold on one second. Stay on hold, and I'm, I'm going to go back to um, uh, Young Disciple all right quick, all right? Just uh, stay right there, all right? Yeah, yeah. What up, you <laughs> Young Disciple. Okay, so I'm, what I'm going to say about this is, one, the guy, Hello? the guy, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I mean, I'm listening. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna respond to that. So the one thing I'm, the, the the first thing I'm gonna say, the guy that LeBron is up against in the goat debate, whether or not you have him first or second, I know you don't, but a lot of people have him first, and that's cool. But that guy is Michael Jordan, as we know, and that guy was consistently getting beat in the playoffs by the Pistons, and he just got better and got stronger and kept coming back until they got over the hump, right? Yes, they got that's Scottie not, Pippen, no, but no, 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 they, they add, uh, let's be 100% here. False. They added something. Yeah, okay, false. go ahead. Yeah, that's false. Okay, See, so, that's how you want to Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, cool. So they, they drafted Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen didn't even become an all-star until, I want to say, that first championship season, right? That was the first time he became an all-star. So people mm-hmm. want to act like, oh, Mike didn't win anything till Scottie came. Like Scottie walked in as some, you know, 25-point-per-game guy. That wasn't what it was. 
right? No, no, so, that's not that. But, yeah, that's, not, but that's not what people. That, but that ain't what people saying, bro. I'm not saying I'm, you. I'm not saying you. But people no, push no, that no. narrative because because Mike had an adequate front office, bro. And, and we've been honest. Mike did. Mike didn't want them to draft Scotty or Horace. Google it. Look at look it up for yourself. Okay, I'll check like, that out. Like, Okay, yeah, he didn't want to the draft either one of those two guys. Okay, but but he had an adequate front office, bro. Look, listen, Bruce, let's just think about it. The Cleveland Cavaliers mm -hmm. would not trade JJ Hickson for Amari Stoudemire. They're like, what else do we have to talk about, bro? That shit was <clears throat> okay, like like that's checkmate. They wouldn't, they, they wouldn't trade J.J. Hickson for mm -hmm. uh, Maury Stoudemire, bro. What else do we have to talk about, uh, uh, Bruce? You, that, that right there lets you know we're not dealing with the same thing, bro. Well, well, we're not yes, dealing with the same front office, yes, bro. But yes and no, because part of that, we don't know what the considerations were behind that. We don't know if they're looking at it and say, right, Amari Stoudemire right, don't fit what we're right, doing, scheme, right. all that. It does matter. It does matter. Steve matters. But but let me answer. Let me answer the second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me answer. Hold on. Let me answer the second part of your of your um your original point. You said that I didn't expect um LeBron to beat all those guys by himself, right? It's funny that people always say that, but yet LeBron took those guys to Game Seven, right? He took those guys to Game Seven in two thousand eight. So it's 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 really interesting to me that it's always like. LeBron could get there and he can carry anybody. He could carry two squeegees in a mop bucket, but when he doesn't get over the hump, the 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 hump, uh, he doesn't have enough help. Like it doesn't it doesn't really add up because he got them to game bro, bro, seven. Bro, 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 and, and he had forty five. Yes, and Paul got, Pierce had forty two. So maybe if he played some defense, they would have won that game. I don't know. So 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 now you want LeBron? That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, and that's my thing right there. What you just said is the reason why he went to Miami. That's the reason he went to Miami, bro. That, that right there. What you just said, mm -hmm. nigga, the, the joke, the joke that you just made is the reason why he went to Miami. Okay. It's, it's because it's because if, I, if I'm doing everything, mm -hmm. everything on top of everything, mm -hmm. and I still come up short, mm -hmm. what that mean? I need help. At the end of the day, we, we, nigga, we didn't have to see. We didn't. We we, we never had to see. I mean, I'm, I, I mean, you could say that, but in '87. Nigga they, nigga, nigga, they drafted Scottie Pippen. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, who was the player that Cleveland drafted that gave Bron some type of like a glimmer of hope that that that, that like? Well, bro, the problem is, I'll, I'll say part of that was they weren't bad enough to draft high. But also, we talk like as if as if they knew what Scottie Pippen was going to become. The reason Scottie Pippen became what he became is because of Michael Jordan, and even Scottie Pippen has admitted that, despite his the rest of his delusions, he has admitted that. So that's that. But listen, so, 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 um, so, so why Jordan? Yeah. So why Jordan? So why Jordan didn't turn nobody else into Scotty Pippen? I mean, I'm, when I he got Scotty, it was he over. Didn't have any natural ability? That's not what I'm saying. But yo, listen, I gotta. I really gotta run. I got somebody else waiting on hold. So again, okay, I appreciate your call, and let's do this again next time. All right. I'll rest a bit. All right, thank you, brother. In the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Brandon, what's good, man? Whoa. I'm gonna keep it short, sweet, to the point. Who's this? Right. Uh Brandon Bryce. This oh, is what's uh, up, BB? This is the king of uh, oh, king of the DMV right here. Hey, you know this. <laughs> Let's go, Wiz. Let's go, Commander. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it short, sweet. Yeah. My man, B Hope has been like that since high school. Okay. The one thing my man don't do is he don't fabricate. He's gonna respond back to you with the fact. But this is why I kept saying, "Oh, not LeBron Knight," like, because I knew you were gonna catch one of those type of things. <laughs> I'm not a LeBron hater. Right. I'm not a LeBron fan. I that is true. You do. My thing with this is this. The issue isn't LeBron. It's the fans that support him. They act like he walk the water. Like the last guy just said, oh, Mike, Mike didn't get help. No, they didn't go get help for Mike. They drafted him. And by the way, Mike didn't deny drafting Scotty because Scotty wasn't who they drafted. They drafted Odin Polony. And they trade him to the side. That's of right. That's right. So You're right. Let's do our work. Okay. I forgot about That's that. Good call. call. Good call. No doubt. I got you, bro. No <laughs> doubt. Next, the problem is not so much that you have the issue with LeBron. Excuse my language. The problem is all the LeBron fans sucking them off like, like he, they're on payroll or like he, they're boo or something. But he's great. No doubt. He is. Mm hmm. Well, come on, stop acting like he doesn't make mistakes. We have plenty of, of instances where we know he got coaches fired. Mm -hmm. He swapped lineups like the average man changes his draw. <laughs> right? 
Right. How many top 50 players, top 35 players has he played with? Hell, yeah. even, if I'm not mistaken, he even tried to play older than it's a Carmelo. You know? You said, so my thing is Say again, I'm transforming. No, I say I, I hear what he said. What's last thing? Oh, he was saying about how many uh, top fifty and top seventy five players has LeBron played with? Okay, a lot. That like, in their prime he, though, like he, are we counting Melo and Westbrook and them boys? But they were on. Top, but we ain't counting them, and, and that's another. One. They act like Westbrook can play ball. Do you remember the year before that? He broke the, the uh, triple double record with the Wizards. Then nobody cares about he that. He was an All Star that year, Mm-mm. and then he gets to L.A. and he can't remember how to play ball. But yet, go to the Clippers and become serviceable the next year. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. No, but you're, you're talking. You're, you're talking as a Lakers fan, fan transformer. No, no, he was bad to be there in the first place. Yes, he was bad, but the reason he's there is because LeBron. Remember, they were supposed to get Buddy Hill. You know, know. This is okay. know. And LeBron, what LeBron said? Wait a minute, a top seventy-five guy? Nah, we want him instead. Yeah, right. It was bad. He to try to stack the deck, and then it, it didn't work out. And LeBron was part of the reason he was getting all that slander, and LeBron quietly got him up out of town. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, I'll pack his bag. I actually helped him. Say what again. What is the first of Westbrook's game? What is Westbrook's game is the, what is the strength of Westbrook's game? To handle the rock mm-hmm. and to facilitate. Mm-hmm. Take to the basket, kick out. Mm-hmm. You can't do what you're good at. LeBron has the ball all the time. Nope. Nope. And that's what he does. So let's be real here. Oh, no, that, that, if, if we talk about LeBron, that is one of the worst decisions. I say it every time. That Correct. is the worst decision he's ever made as a Laker. It's yeah. by getting him over anybody. Because mm-hmm. you, you can't get somebody who plays the exact same way you do. We needed a shooter. Westbrook has never known to shoot. Bron has always been valuable with point guards and shooting guards that can mm-hmm. shoot the basketball. Westbrook was not mm-hmm. none of that. Right? He was a turnover prone, uh, triple double machine. Who some of that was fabricated. I mean, it goes on record that he was fabricating a lot of those triple double games to get him the record. But you know, that's just the way he played, right? If, if you're LeBron exactly. and you dominate the basketball for, for you know, like for eighty percent of, of the basketball game, what, what, Westbrook don't know how to play off the ball. You saw him play with Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant plays off the ball, but if Kevin Durant has the ball, Westbrook don't know what to do. He like, I need the ball, bro. You know, how we how we uh overshooting his offense? But yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. I mean, Westbrook was an all-in-all all bad move, and I, I'm still pissed off at LeBron about it. That's why I wore AD jersey and, today. <laughs> and I'm glad you wore it. Let me say this much. This is another thing I have with, with, with LeBron fans. When when the Celtics dog walked him Breaking that, that first time, and, 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 and when he lost, he was first at his first trip in the final. Oh, he was young. He was young. But you want to claim credit when he stopped that young – Thunder team mm-hmm. with young Westbrook, young Durant, and young Harden. And Harden could hit the ocean with a rock in that series. Yeah, that boy went ghost. They were all young, so like you can't have it both ways. I'm gonna step back exactly. and let y'all I'm gonna join the show. Man, I, I appreciate you, Brandon. Thanks for the call, brother. Um, we're all gonna good. go ahead and uh uh we are pretty much about to move to that final topic. But yeah, thanks for calling, man. Appreciate you. Am all I breaking day. up? No doubt. Um, no, I don't think you are. Chris, what are you talking about, brother? Said I'm breaking out bad. I don't know if he meant me and my. Oh, Sneed, I didn't even see you there. Salam alaikum, brother. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, the Bronny and Reddick situation is much worse than the Russ situation. <laughs> what Bron did to Darvin Ham is the worst, though. Man, listen. Hey, but man, we, we don't know. We don't know yet. All right. We, we're okay, saying we it's much worse, but we don't know how uh, this Reddick situation is going to turn out. I like, we don't know. Because last okay. night, so fan, that, that, that game plan, playing through AD, that looked great. That that looks mm-hmm. great. That lineup looked great. Um, okay. we right. we won the game and we shot seventeen percent mm-hmm. from three, mm-hmm. off of pure hustle. I was hearing what mm-hmm. he was saying on the lineup, and one he's a, he's an actual. Uh, what am I trying to say? He gets he gets emotional on the sideline. Like I, I honestly got tired of Darvin Ham just putting his hands in his pocket last year. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, come on, man. All right, right, at all right, this point, start screaming and cursing. Curse somebody out. Get a text. Listen, listen, listen. Text, okay, you, know? you, you got that the, last night. The, but the, I, the jury's I, still you, out. The jury's still you out. You're going to have a lot of complaints about your man, J.J. Reddick, because he's there for a reason, and we I'm know waiting. what that is. So, I'm, exactly. I'm waiting on him. I'm waiting on yeah. him. Yeah. But I'm but just saying, um, like, we can't say it's the worst, but because mm-hmm. the jury's still out on it. Like, you know, at least let him go 38 right. wins on a season, and we not mm-hmm. make the playoffs before we say it's the worst. You know what I mean? If we end up 50 games plus, then honestly, he's done better. You know what I mean? So, you know. All right. 